Hey guys, this is Gene Jensen and this video is for you beginners and I'm going to talk about how to choose the right fishing rod. Now, first of all, I want to be sure I thank uh, Sportsman's Warehouse for allowing me to come into their store and pretty much take over for a few hours. Um, I've slipped into the back of the store. It's a little bit quieter. The, ra the radio's not going. And I just want to sit down and talk to you guys about choosing a beginning fishing rod. Now, in the previous video, we talked about spinning reels. And I really, really, really suggest learning how to fish a spinning reel over one of those push buttons. So with that, let's talk about picking a rod that will go with the tackle that we chose and with the spinning reel that we chose. Now, there's tons and tons of different choices. I mean, look down this aisle. I mean, these are just what's in the back of the store. But rods can be pretty confusing as well. And there's different lengths and there's different powers and there are different actions and things like that. But what I would suggest to start with is get yourself, like I said, a two, like I said on the last video, a, a 2,000 or a 3,000 size spinning reel and match it up with a medium heavy rod. This right here is a seven foot medium heavy spinning rod. You know it's a spinning rod because it's got these big, big um, guides on our big rod eyes and the reel goes down below the, below the rod, a bait caster and a push button that goes above the rod. But if it's got this big first eye right here, it's a spinning rod. And that's what you're gonna choose, that's what you're gonna pick up. But make it a medium heavy, mainly because you've got that, uh, uh, that Texas rig and you've got that little jig head and things like that to fish with. You can go with a medium, but they send, tend to be a little bit too flimsy. And uh, when you set the hook, it's hard to get that hook uh, uh, into the fish's mouth and be able to get them in, in the boat. Um, and you can throw those small spinner baits on a medium heavy spinning rod. Medium heavy bait, bait casters tend to be a little bit stiffer than this, but we're not talking about bait casters, we're talking about a spinning rod. All right, so the first thing you do when you pick it up is you wanna see how stiff it is. And what, you, what I do is I take it and I put the rod tip down on the ground just like this, and I push down and I wanna have a nice bend I want to have a nice bend, but I want it to be quite a bit of resistance. I want to, have, I want to be able to, uh, to push down to about right there, and then it gets so much resistance that you feel like you're going to break the rod. You're not going to, but that's what you feel like. And, uh, and that's kind of what I'm looking for for this setup. Now, you can build upon this. As you get more and more confidence in those type of baits, the next rod that I would pick would be a medium action spinning rod and then go into trying a bait caster. That's a whole different world. A lot of people say, oh, bait caster stinks. You get bird nests and stuff like that. I've got great videos on how to cast bait casters. I've got great videos on how to cast spinning rods, but uh, that's where how I would start. All right, so when you're, when you're looking at a, a, a fishing rod, you see these numbers right there? Let's see if I can get it focused on the rod and not my face. There we go. Now, a lot of those numbers, that's like a model number. All right, then you got action, which is a medium heavy. And, uh, and it tells you what pound uh, test to use or what pound line to use and things like that. Uh, stay within those parameters. 10 to 17 is what this one says. Stay within those parameters. Uh, the, the lure weight, um, uh, you can go up to a half ounce with this rod with no problem. Maybe a little bit heavier and you'd be just fine. But, uh, but don't, don't worry so much about that. It's not, one, it's not a, break, a make and break deal. It's, uh, it just kind of gives you an idea of what the rod is rated for. I wouldn't put big, heavy monofilament on, but I would you know, try to stay between 10 and 17. And really what I suggest for fishing line for a medium heavy is something around 12 pound test monofilament, like, uh, oh, let me go get some real quick. Like some Trilene XL. This, I like this because you can find it in any store. It's, uh, it's simple, it's not expensive. Um, you know, you can get into that fluorocarbon and into that braid and things like that, but do that later on. Do that further down the road as you get more and more experienced. Trilene XL is a good one to start with. I have a lot of confidence in the green color. You can use the clear as well, but uh, that's the kind of line that I would pick to put on my spinning reel. I got a really good video on how to put line on a spinning reel. I'll link to that right up here, but that's how I would start. So start out with a medium heavy spinning rod, a size 3000 spinning reel, put line on it, go fishing and have a ball. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe. Check out the rest of my beginner videos if that's what you're interested in, or I've got four or 500 other videos that you guys can go watch. Like I always say, be sure to introduce somebody to fishing. Introduce them to my channel. Let me help you teach them how to fish. More importantly, get out on the water, go out and catch some fish and have a great day. We'll see you.